Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Conclave as Scotland. So in our last episode, we defeated another Jihad, the Sunni Jihad, which was not much of a big deal. It was only this guy and uh, one of the Holy Orders involved in that. Um, and also we had another succession as old Roderick died. And so we're now playing as Emperor Callum the Hammer. So hopefully we'll have a long and prosperous rule ahead of us as Callum here. Though if we were to inherit sooner as Andrew, who's a very good character, I wouldn't mind too much. But uh, we also declared war last episode for our Domain County of Athol, which passed out of our hands due to some succession issues with uh, our vassal king of Sicily. But we should be able to take it back without too much trouble here, even though I carelessly declared war without paying any attention to the alliances, so we've ended up fighting England and, is it Leon down here as well? who I don't actually expect to be much of an issue. They have, it looks like, a revolt going on down there that they probably have to deal with. So we should have England slightly outnumbered, so we sh if we can fight a good battle with them, should actually help us out here. Let's see, let's get this 6,000 up into Moray, maybe. See if they might want to march all the way north here and attack us in the hills. Looks like they're just going to assault something down there and head south again, okay. That's fine, for the time being we'll continue sieging our target county here. Alright, so we have another faction becoming dangerous. This is the Independence faction this time. A bunch of dukes and earls. Mostly in England, it looks like. Okay, I don't know if we have any... Uh, what am I looking at here? Any uh, prisoners of high rank who we could release to improve everyone's opinion? Apparently we don't. We don't... we do have righteous imprisonment on... Uh, the Duke of Cornwall, for example. Was he in this faction? Uh, you are in Northumberland. Yeah, okay. What are our chances of imprisoning? Cornwall, 57% chance plus whatever we can get out of our marshal. Okay, I kind of like those odds. Uh, let's see, we should check where our Duke of Cornwall actually is. He is in Cornwall, it looks like. Where does it actually say this? Um, I know there's somewhere. But he's not leading armies anyway, is the point, so... And... I assume that means he's at home. Uh, apparently not. Still only 57% chance. I guess we can find out this way. He's in... Here? That's what it looks like. Oh, we can't move our... Our guy, unfortunately, so let's maybe hold off on trying to arrest him for now, since 57% chance looks a lot worse than 71. After giving my advice on a delicate matter, the courtier asked me to accept a small gift of gold as thanks for my help. So we can potentially become charitable, which I think would be okay. Improve our diplomacy, at least. We didn't. Well, if we're not going to arrest him, then I guess we should try to just bribe some of these people. Unfortunately, it doesn't really improve any of their opinions that much. Oh well. We converted a county. And maybe England actually is heading north now. My brother Prince John wants to join the Knights Hospitaller. We'll say no. Please keep having... Uh, quick babies, if you could.
Ooh, and here comes another 5,000 from Brittany, aka Sicily. Alright, so that could be a problem. We have about 20,000 here, so roughly equal numbers. I think it might be a good idea for us to hire some mercenaries. Five thousand would be plenty. A Lombard band. But they won't spawn in Gary because there's hostile troops there. Alright, so I think we'll put half of them into a thal and half of them into Moray. Still hoping to be able to bait them into attacking us in the hills here. I have a child who needs an education focus. It's uh, our daughter, Princess Mary, who is a genius. Also affectionate, indolent, and conscientious. So affectionate is good for diplomacy. Conscientious is good for stewardship, but indolent is bad, so I guess we're going for diplomacy then. He just lost some men to attrition, which is good news for us. <laughs> Looks like they're actually just going to all meet up in our capital and take attrition before they can leave. Okay. Or hopefully take attrition, we'll see. Oh, speaking of attrition, I moved too many troops into Athal. Oh, they did just lose a bunch of troops there. Okay. Great news for us. So if we keep this army here, will they continue to come? They will. I think we'll brave the attrition that we might take then. So let's see. This is hills. We do have a rough terrain guy. So we'll appoint him here. We'll appoint Ewan as the flank commander here, and David can go there. He's a good defender. And we'll get ready to reinforce with our additional 10k. And I believe we even have second organizer? No, apparently we don't. I think that might have been the King of Sicily was an organizer, but he died. So that's fine, I guess we'll just head in at the usual pace. Please let me watch the battle. Thank you. So I don't expect we'll have trouble holding out long enough. Uh, in fact, we already did. And it's a pretty easy victory, it looks like. We're 51% war score already. So they're all retreating up to Moray. I guess we'll follow in that direction. So we have a kinsman, Radolf, who needs a childhood focus. He seems to have some martial talent already, so we'll go for struggle with him, I guess. Continue our siege, and it looks like they're retreating right up to Orkney. So we'll just park ourselves in this county, and then they'll have to come back across the strait if they want to get back in here. Which I assume they won't do. And we can just comfortably siege our target county and start getting ticking war score. I assume we're not having any trouble down here either. Yeah, we are doing just fine. Alright, so this war seems to be pretty well in hand. Our faction troubles seem to have gone away. Castle has finished construction in Tyrus, okay. Not sure why that's relevant to us. We don't have land down there, do we? No, that's up here, okay. 
Our nephew Constantine has finished his education in the ways of war and has learned the basic skills required. Okay, not great. Uh, let's get him married to preferably a genius, though. Uh, we can wait three years. Seems reasonable. Oh, now they're just taking attrition up here on Orkney. I almost feel bad for them. I believe we can afford to disband our mercenaries at this point. We'll still have 6,000 here, which will be more than enough to defend the strait. And our kinswoman Princess Lorna needs a childhood focus. Mm. We'll just go for Atticus. So our heir, Andrew, has had a daughter who is strong. Good for her. Looks like we might have some enemy troops landing, but uh, I think we need to be too concerned about yes. This could be a larger army, though. Our nephew David needs a childhood focus. He seems to be decent at stewardship, so we'll go for duty there. Ah, no, they were just evacuating their troops from Orkney. Okay, makes sense. We have a new Duke of Lancaster who considers himself powerful and does not like us, though he is 62 years old and depressed, so he might not live too long. Well, as long as he doesn't cause us any actual trouble, we'll probably just ignore him then. And I guess we'll appoint Constantine as a commander. The Brittany's moving his troops down here. Still nothing we need to worry about, I think. We've won another siege down in Sicily. And we just took the last county in our target county, or the last holding in our target county. Which means we should get up to 100 from ticking war score pretty quickly here. Uh oh. Uh, Shona here has died of the dreaded plague. So she was in the court of Jerusalem. I guess. So the Black Death has appeared. Fortunately, pretty far away from where we live. But uh, still bad news. Okay, we have made it to 100%, so we can enforce our demands. Take back our county. No problem with our domain limit, so that's good. And we can get all of our stuff disbanded. And the defensive pact opposing us has been disbanded as well. We are at 27% threat. Uh, so it actually hasn't been disbanded. Leon and England are still in there. Ah, I guess it wasn't actually an alliance. It was just because um, Sicily was in the defensive pact. That makes sense. Alright, so... Some kinswoman of ours was born, okay. Disband the rest of our troops, this is all retinue. Which actually is fully reinforced already. So we should be making a decent amount of money now. 
Over 50 gold a month, sounds good. Duchess Fresenda the Drunkard has founded the Independence Faction. From Sicily. Okay, well yes, we did lose the Kingdom of Sicily as well, but we can't be too far from usurping it with the amount of land we have here. Maybe we'll try to conquer another duchy for them at some point. Uh, there is a war going on here. Modenian claim on Macon. Or the war for Princess Sophia's claim on Sicily. Yeah, this is a vassal of ours, actually. Okay, so we may end up getting somebody who was already a vassal of ours as the king of Brittany or queen of Brittany. Only if she's already landed, though, I think, which she probably is not. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Alternatively, we could consider just declaring war on England right now. If we have any suitable CBs. Did your claim on Westmoreland? Up there. Looks like we have no duchy claimants. We could invite one. How about uh, the Duchy of York? No claimants. No claimants to the Duchy of Wessex. No claimants to Mercia. Okay, well we might just declare war for Westmoreland. It should be a pretty easy war since we did just kill their army. Some of our levies are a bit depleted, but I think we could probably do it anyway. Actually don't quite have enough boats to transport our troops up here. At least not from Sicily. You can raise yours though. Alright, we do have some vassals who are annoyed about their levies being raised, so maybe we should hold off a little while, but their levy is only going to be recovering. So maybe we just do it anyway. I think we're probably mostly out of the woods when it comes to factions anyway. During the last year or so, your daughter Mary has been spending a lot of time with the members of a local monastic order. You've also noticed that she spends many hours per week in pious prayer. Then one day she approaches you asking for your permission to dedicate her life to Christ. Absolutely not. She's going to become stressed, unfortunately, but I definitely think we want to keep her around so that she can have some more genius babies of our dynasty. We'll get her a matrilineal marriage at some point. And also, we can appoint women to certain positions on the council. Chancellor and steward. And if we raise this one further, we could even appoint women as marshal. So perhaps we should actually try to do that. So it's probably going to involve buying favors, and we aren't looking uh, incredibly good for money at the moment, so we'll probably hold off on that for now. Either way, Mary cannot be a nun. And King Garrick of Jerusalem has died of the plague, not too surprisingly. So now we have four-year-old King Roderick in charge down there. That is fine, I suppose. So who to appoint as our Chancellor? So the King of Wales wants to be on the council. He's not actually causing us any problems right now, though. He's in a faction, but he's not so strong that that's really an issue. So I guess we'll just appoint the best person for the job. Radolf. And who should we have him work on for us? I guess our Grand Mayor in Sinai. Did 
Is the emblem of Sinai a burning bush? I guess it is, that would make sense. Okay. So we're just waiting for our retinue to make it up here, and then we'll probably just declare on England. We have a new Duke of Kent as well. Not unhappy with us. And Prince Radolf, our new Chancellor, has had a son. And there is a new great house in Sinai. Probably people dying of the plague down there. Yep. Frank Johnston. Okay then. So we'll declare for Westmoreland. The council approves. The defensive pact apparently no longer exists. Even though I thought it did. Are they not in the defensive pact? Well, they apparently are not being called to war here, so... Either way... I mean, it would say, surely. Oh, it does say. And in fact, the Holy Roman Empire is going to come in as well. Hmm. So that gives me pause here. They are defending against a revolt right now. I think this is the same revolt they were fighting throughout all of our whole jihad situation in Jerusalem. And actually the Kaiser is betrothed to my niece as well, so maybe we can just get a non-aggression pact with them? No? Is a threat. Would you like a gift? You would like a gift that is much larger than I'm willing to give you. Okay. Well, I guess we'll hold off on declaring war on England then. Maybe we'll just let our non-aggression pact go away. And we'll appoint the Duke of Northumberland as commander here. Okay, well that is going to do it for this episode anyway, so we'll leave it here for now. Thanks for watching, and join me again next time.